Washington had 26 points a game high in the win against Wake Forest for Clemson in its most recent game on Thursday, a home victory, 87 to 78. Love trying to back it down. Formosa kept it alive. This is Bates with a little bit of daylight and she rips the ropes on her very first shot attempt. Robinson. Hank tried to grab it. Georgia Tech defense so good on the help side and it leads to Nalea Hermosa. Almost 11 points per game for number 31 in Tech Gold. This is Kubai extending the range. And that's the face-up game that she's much improved at before. Lightning sacrificed her body, gets outside the circle and takes a hard hit. Touchdown pass ahead of the field and the lap for the Jackets and Love. Conversely, Georgia Tech, all of their players have hoisted the shot so far. And now the Tigers on the board driving to the bucket. It's Washington. Loftinen. Bit of a runner there. Play wasn't maybe exactly as scripted, but she's able to make it happen. 21 points at Virginia Tech in the losing effort. Most recent game for Georgia Tech and Lottonen. Four of ten from three-point distance. Driving and scoring is Washington. The double team. Bates steps on through. Inside to Love. Let the defender go on by, and she lays it in. At the midcourt stripe, and the shot clock back to ten. Here goes Alicia Washington going one on one, pulls up and knocks it down. Nothing but net. All she needs. Such a consistent score for the Tigers. 19 times this season, she's gotten a double digits. Bates! You know she can knock down that shot. Sarah Bates has been waiting for two years for this opportunity. A good hedge right there defensively for Georgia Tech. And again, the help side defense does not recover. And it allows Robinson that easy layup. And Georgia Tech eliminated Clemson in the quarterfinal, 60 to 57, in Greensboro, North Carolina. They've got quite a history meeting for the 91st time. Love on the baseline. Way off balance, and she hit the deck. Looked like Coach Butler might have wanted to foul on that play. I don't think she wanted one. She's right in front of us. She shouted it out. It should have been a foul. Love knocks down a three right in front of the Clemson bench. Dubai's going to have to play smart with those two fouls. Hank. Three-pointer is on net. Hannah Hank straight away. Starting to get them a little bit rattled, running them down to the end of the shot clock. Great inbounds play to Dubai. Great face-up player. Turns, doesn't expect Lottenen right there. And Lightning forces that turnover. Hermosa, goodbye, love. Yep. She's wide open as Lightning steps through the double timeout, Tiger. So Love has 13 points. The rest of the team has 14. Make it 17. Thanks to number three, Bates. And it's a 9 0 run for Georgia Tech. Most of you on these regional sports networks will see the game at two second game of our doubleheader it's nc state against duke and that's hermosa how about this tab at the 14 field goals for georgia tech 13 assists on those 14 exactly. made field goals and, and delisha washington that's the player you got to watch out she gets her head down dominating this game so far with just about four and a half minutes to go in our second quarter how about london with the bounce pass threads it to kubai father side of the rim She's been doing such a good job of breaking the trap from Clemson and finding her offensive teammates for the easy two. But Delisha Washington refuses to go away, knocks down that three for the Clemson Tigers. Four of 11 on three-point attempts for Georgia Tech in this game. This could be another one from Bates. Oh, it's money. Money, Bates. Goodbye. They flip it around to Bates in the corner, and the result is the same. And the best part is we'll see all of them, and the male coaches as well, at the ACC basketball tournament coming up in early March, and that's games. Drive and bucket. Seems to be working a little bit better. Washington runs it up, forces the issue. Over the front rim, Delisha Washington. Lottonen. 
Old school runner may have been deflected. 6-0 run for the Tigers. Washington crosses it over. Drives and scores. That's all they want to do. They want the miss. Georgia Tech, the top defense in the ACC. They only average about 49 points per game to the opposition. First in the conference, seventh in the nation. Love with the basket. This is Hank for the free throw line. Ott tried to work that baseline. Bradford rattling a three. Hermosa on the entry pass. Not high enough on the backboard the first time. Second time is good. Robinson trying to establish position. Goodbye defending. Robinson drives the muscle it up. How did she do that? Not her shot, but if it's at the end of the shot clock, you will take it. How about Bradford? She'll take it and make it. With the exit of a couple Clemson players, but is now finding her niche as the point guard for the squad. Leads the team in made threes this season. Hermosa from Love. Love on the drive. In Yang steps over to block her progress. Hermosa baseline. And keeping her vision alive. 16 times into double digits for Hermosa in scoring. This is up for three. She's into the box score with that three-pointer in the fifth made three of the game on 10 tries for the Tigers. Lots of them. Too strong. Hermosa. Offensive class for Georgia Tech. Last year, Georgia Tech to the Sweet 16. And she managed to fit in seven years of broadcasting for ESPN <laughs> in between. I mean, my goodness. She's been busy. As has Washington with the drive and score. Didn't even try to go for the box out. Pass gets away. Washington scoops it up. Goodbye in pursuit. Will not get there in time. How about eight times this season, 20 points or more, and six of her last seven games in scoring for Washington. Entry pass, Hermosa. Turn it over a couple times, trying to get Hermosa that high-low. But the assist leader for Georgia Tech and Loretta Kubai gets it there. Washington ripping ropes for the Tigers. Oh, my. Oh, my. By Nunu Bradford, she has come alive with an offense two of three from beyond the line so far tonight. First tie of the game, we are untied. Chance for the Tigers to take their first lead of the game. Knocked away from Robinson. Lawton had had it for a moment. Robinson gets it back, goes underneath the hot, and it bounces in. Tigers are in front for the first time today. Tigers have lost seven in a row in the series and seven in a row here in Atlanta. Today could be a different story. Washington wants three, and she has it. 45 seconds to go in the third, 62-57. The Tigers have overcome an eight-point deficit at halftime, and Lawton and drives and scores. Good job there with Lorella Kubai hedging hard, not allowing Delisha Washington to come off that screen and get easy shot. Love driving and scoring and a foul on the play. Tigers have made eight threes in the game. Washington on Kubai, crosses it over. Hits the shot! And I think that was partially deflected by Lorella Kubai. Washington has 30 points. Kubai on the run, off the glass. Score it, and to the line! Ten of the shot clock for Washington. Gets past the defenders, floats it and scores. How about 32 for Delisha Washington? She's just a dynamic playmaker, one-on-one. -on -one. She's that kid that went to the park and played one-on-one -on -one with all the guys and learned all the moves. And Leah Love. Just over five minutes to go in regulation. Love needs a safety valve. Bates on the baseline. When her teammate got trapped and had nowhere to go, Love slices to the rim. The excellent pass from Lawton and finds her right where it needs to find her. Back to Robinson, charging to the rim. Lawton and needing some help. Goodbye, provided it. Now Love spins on Washington. Scoring to the line. Has been up and down sometimes.
but she is another dynamic playmaker for Georgia Tech, and she's got to be on point. <laughs> the drive, Bradford off the square. In the month of February, late January to February, doing some good things. 13 points, Washington the steal. She's got 32. Maker 34. 18 points in the second half for Washington. 34 overall. This time it'll be Hank. Three-pointer from the corner. Fight on the weak side, out of bounds. It's just like it was an open two with the high-low. And Kubai didn't, either she didn't see it or didn't want to see it. Three-point lead and force the Tigers to take a three. Yeah. Potentially. That is going to be one of two. Washington. 15 seconds. Driving past three defenders. And she hit that shot. And they were tied up. 75 all. Tied at 75. Final 10 seconds. Lots of it on the handle. Puts it up. Off the glass and scores. Look to my Lottenen. Amazing. What a finish to this one. Bonus basketball in Atlanta. Hermosa entry from Lockton. And was well on its way to a thrilling victory. And then Bradford took it all the way with the floater to tie us up at 77. That's Lockton again. Lightning's just putting her head down, using the screening action. Remember I told you back in 2014, the last win for Clemson here. That went to OT. That's Kubai. When teams try to throw him off of her, she is so good at catching the ball and not allowing them to bounce it off of her. Inside Kubai. Also a foul. 16 points now for Kubai on the three-point play. <laughs> Georgia Tech looking a little stagnant. Needs some ball movement. Kubai is going to take it. And she's going to make that one and get to the goal. Kubai. In this overtime period. Outscored the Tigers 9-1 to to start the OT. Kubai deep in the corner. Hermosa over every... Watson in. They work it to Bates. Oh, excellent. Followed her own miss and got it. Excellent. Now they need a... Was a win in overtime. Bradford. Gotta get a quick score. She's behind the line for three. Fight for the loose ball, and that's Kubai. I didn't think a three-point shot was necessary. Kubai is five of seven from the free throw line. The fact that she's still in the game is amazing. Gaines. Driving. Too strong. Love has it. I know it's no consolation to Washington, but she has put up the biggest scoring number in the ACC this season with Kubai at the free throw line. Just trying to win this one for her squad, but they're going to come up short in this one. Games that'll miss, bounce off. What a game. 92-84 in overtime. Georgia Tech has won eight in a row in the series.